So once we have already um, logged in and we are familiar with the projects and the library, we want to create a new form and we will do it by creating a new. It gives us four different uh, options. We're going to start building from scratch. And then you can have a, a project name, text English, for example, and then a short description. This form is to test in the training. Okay, you can specify what is your what your sector. I will type water sanitation and hygiene and the country. I mean Norway, so I'll type Norway. And then I create the project. We'll think a little bit. The first thing we want to talk about uh, about forms is that it is important to have paper forms done before, paper or electronic. So the first thing you should do is sit down, write all your questions. What type of questions are they? What options do they have to choose from? And then also um, and put the numbers on it. It's very useful to have numbers and sections. So question 1.1 is this one always, and then you don't have to be looking for it. It's just 1.1, it will be all sorted out. And even if it's imperfect, it will help you out later on. Um, Kobo does not create auto, -numer auto numbers in the questions like uh, all the software. I think Magpie does. So you have to do it before. And then you can readjust, like if you have like, 10 questions and you want to make one in between one and two instead of changing them all. If you want, you can change them all, but if not, you can also uh, put like 1.1 or 1.a or 1.c or something like that, that I do. So it's for me, the numbers are more like to help you out with the analysis later on than to be really, really important. Um, once we started, <coughs> Um, I, I, w I wanted to you to have a look uh, here. Uh, we have different options that we can click. In the layout and settings, to start off, we have the form style. So how do you want the form look like once you have uh, created it? You have default as a single page. You can have grid theme. We will explore how the, the form looks like later on when we're going to print it or preview it as well. Then we have metadata, which is data that we actually collect but we don't have necessarily to ask for it the, the 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 form will do it by itself so you can start recording the time when the enumerator starts and end and then also the day with this you can make calculation of how long it takes for each form the username that is a parameter that will be in the tablets that you parameterize later on for doing the mobile data collection and the details we have already entered them here so we're not going to change. And, uh, and this is in this part. Uh, and then we're going to start actually typing questions. So I will type here question number one, uh, name of the person, for example, and then I add a question. Okay, here we have many, many different type of questions. Some of them are more interesting than others. Select one, obviously you select only one of the questions I that the, the, the form lets you choose. Select many, you can select one or you can select two or all, or maybe only three, there are two ways. Text is just free text, so you can write numbers and text. Number, you can write only numbers like uh, integers, like one, two, three, four, five, minus 10 as well. Decimals, you can have decimals on it so 1.25 you can also write 25 only but you can write 25.3 date and time very obvious date and time is in the same question you ask both of them point is to create a gps location which is very interesting to locate things in maps photo you can get a photo of of whatever you want Interesting to be coupled with a point because then you can have like maps with pictures. Audio, if you want to record audio, video, if you want to record video. A line is to create a line with two or more GPS coordinates. I have never used line because it didn't work in previous version of uh, Kobo Toolbox. I don't know if it's working right now uh, in Kobo Collect actually. And then note is just to write a note 
it's not a real question. It's just you saying something. So, for example, I I use it a lot in presentations. Hello, my name is na na na. I work for this organization, and I'm going to do a, a survey on uh, household latrines. Would you like to participate? So it's just informative. Barcode is to scan barcodes with the camera of the phone. If you are using a, a phone or tablet, it could be done in a distribution. Acknowledge is just to say, yes, I acknowledge this. Area is similar to line. So with three or more GPS points, it calculates the area. Never use it either. It was not working some years back, maybe one year and a half ago. And rating questions. Uh, rating is a give a, a rate to a different questions. Uh, options, sorry. Question matrix, you can have a list of questions in the same screen with uh, the same answers. So for example, yes or not. Are you coming for dinner? Yes or not. Are you coming for lunch? Yes or not. Are you coming for breakfast? Yes or not. And all of them in the same kind of page. Ranking is to rank your favorite things. So what do you like best? Going on holidays, uh, go with my friends for a drink, uh, work. And you can rank them from one to three. Calculate is to make calculations. So you can take the answers from different questions and put them together especially numbers, of course. So for example, if you ask number of males, number of females, do not ask total number. You just put another question that is calculate and then it's number of females plus number of males. File is to upload files. And range, I really don't know. So I'm not going to talk about it. I haven't explored it yet. It's a, it's a new one. So yeah, let's start. Uh, this number one, it was name of the person. There, so text, of course. Mm, I'm going to write text, but really try to minimize the text question as much as you can because then it's messy for the data analysis. Okay, we have question hint, which is like a small guidance that you can uh, have, like uh, type only the first name because maybe then you can have the last name as a separate question. All right, and then. Uh, we, we can have ones that we have already created this question. We have small buttons here and then we can click in the small wheel wheels in computers and telephones. It's always settings, right? So we click in settings. We have question options, skip logic and validation criteria. Question options. We have this uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, column data name is the like kind of the synthetic name that the the form creates for the question given and is based on the the name that we give here. You can change it. I usually don't, but maybe um, you want to change it. Uh, guidance hint. So we can write here the hint or here the hint. Mandatory response. Is it compulsory? Do, do, can they not skip it? Then if it's mandatory, you really really need the name. You click it here and then it becomes with a small asterisk here, as you can see, right? Uh, the full response, you can you can choose to write something already as a, as a response. So, <clears throat> for example, this is useful for emails. If you ask, for example, number one, email of the person, right? And you know that you are making uh, always, I mean, this person, they work always for the same company. And it's, the company name is company.no. So they always have to have this company.no. We can go to preview the form. And then when the form is there, email of the person. So Iker at company.no. So I don't have to type everything. It looks like nothing, but sometimes if you're doing like thousands of submissions and you have to type like in this case, like 10 characters in a small phone, it takes a while.